What a day we have had here at the Crucible in Newbury. The latest of these town pool shootout series events, the most exciting format of pool there is on TV. We started with 16, now we're down to two, and we're about to determine the champion. So let's bring on the finalists. Introducing, first of all, a guy who has made a huge impact today on his town shootout debut. A former under-18 national champion and world championship semi-finals. Three times an IPA tournament winner. He is the machine and he's been running hot today. Welcome back, John McAllister. And his opponent, a very quick turnaround for this guy who has dominated this town shootout series, winning the first three and then again in Manchester last month. He is the defending champion. He is an unstoppable force when he's at his best. And he's showing his best once again. He is the Welsh wizard, Jordan Shepherd. See the routes to the final. Jordan Shepard has dropped just four frames. John McAllister seven. I'll definitely argue that John McAllister has actually played the better of the two. What a final this is going to be. Is John McAllister break first? And what a break it is. Almost part of the black off the break as well, which would have been. 1-0 John in, in, in no time at all. As it is, he's made a ball, he's made a couple of balls, but it's a bit of a tricky outlay, the way the balls are. It's not, not an easy finish from here. Can he stop Jordan Shepard? Can anyone stop him? Well, it's the final a lot wanted. It's the final you wanted. It was the way they've played today. I think this is such a treat. This is a treat for everybody. It's a treat for me to commentate. I can't believe I'm being paid to do it. Are you? Sorry, I mean... News to me. Sorry. I mean, uh, I can't believe I've been asked to do I was doing this for it. the love of the game. <laughs> Doesn't feel like work, this. Wanted more angle. A bit more angle is a little bit straight. It's going to make it difficult to. The problem ball is obviously the red that's next to the black. He's going to can get on it into the bottom left-hand corner pocket, but he's he's kind of out of position here. And if he does miss, the, the yellows are nicely placed. What a shot that is. Does that go through the gap? If it goes through the gap, it's, it's frame over, but I don't think it does. He's just having a look now. Oh, it's, it's a little grimace there. I think it's tight. It might go. And the pace he's hit that down the cushion as well. It,
Thinks he can make it. No. I never felt he could. No, it's a, it's a huge moment already. Can we say that after halfway through frame one? Ideally, he'd like to play the yellow off the red to break the blackout. But yeah, he needs the that blackout. Risky? That's the one thing at the moment that's saving John McAllister, and it still is. I think the yellow was too close to the pocket. It was already half in the pocket, to be honest. And I think if, it, if he can come across to the right-hand side of the table and play the yellow in the middle of the table, off of the red, and push this black towards the bottom left-hand corner pocket. That's his plan. And he's in perfect position, absolutely perfect position. Has to get this at the right pace, though. Doesn't want the black ending up halfway up the cushion still. Doesn't want it in either. There we go. It's a great shot. It's a great shot from Jordan Shepherd. What a steal this is going to be. He is so good. This rises to the occasion every to every final we've seen him play on this. He's been brilliant. And just like that. First blood. It's ultra focused as well. Make no mistake, he knows what he's up against against John McAllister. These two are a 50 50 match in any tournament that they play in. Jordan Waywell, Philly's got the edge because of his previous exploits in this tournament, but he knows how important that first frame was. Three balls off the break. He's made four balls off the break, John Shepherd. Two reds and two yellows. Decisions, decisions. What's he going to go for? There's an argument for both. If that, I was about to say, if the yellow goes in, it's frame over. That was a pressure pot. Playing out the jaws of the pocket. That was difficult, and he's just, you say, just seems to rise to the occasion every single time in this town shootout. He thrives, he thrives in the atmosphere. The format suits him. Aside from that, he's well, just a one carbon of the very copy best. of Manchester when he was 2 2, won the last three, came out and just rolled into the final. Yeah. It's happening again. That's five unanswered frames. And that's 2-0 already in the final. Can you beat this guy? He's determined. He's still loving it in the background. John has made a ball, he's at the table. Similar to the last frame, or his last break, where either, either colour set were quite difficult, it's the same. We feel like the pool gods are against him because when Jordan broke, he didn't break any better than John, he didn't hit them any better than John, but made four balls and reds and yellows came out lovely.
still needs to find a finish here that the red at the bottom of the table is, is going to cause him trouble. It will go into the right middle pocket, although that's a fairly tight angle. Ideally, would like to plan it into the bottom left corner pocket, but it's not going to be a going to be easy to get on that. It's all about the angle he gets on this second last red. If he gets himself a good angle, it's quite easy to get on the red into the corner. He's, he's not quite come far enough. He's tried to come a little bit further up the table so he could put this into the corner pocket and, and screw down table but as you see there he can, he can <laughs> see the natural angle is going to go towards the middle pocket he hasn't just eyed up playing it off the knuckle sort of disgusting thing that John, John McAllister does I'm not going to play position off the knuckle surely he has he has <laughs> Well, what does he do with this now? I'm glad it's not my problem. Um, <laughs> and cushion first, I suppose, yeah. If it goes in, he's going to be on the black as well. And that's the worst, worst place he could have left that cue ball. Can't because can't be leaving yourself Jordan with Shepherd. shots like that against Jordan Shepard. No, but now look what he's left him. He, Jordan's got one bad ball on the table and, and he had the perfect angle to go into it straight away. Not only is he, you know, the dominant force in this through pure skill, you know, it's just because he is that good, Jordan Shepard, but he seems to get the run of the ball as well. He seems to... Maybe not final, that time. No, 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 he hasn't at all, no, but that was a bad shot. Um, let me see him just drop this in. He's going to leave himself a double, is he? He's going to leave it to last, isn't he? No, he's going to leave no. it as a double because he thinks he can play it as a shot to nothing. Well, it's Superb. a shot to something, but where's the white? Mm, it's okay. It's, it's just... Here's box office. <laughs> well, I'll take that. Pleasure to watch. This for 3-0. No mistake at all. He must like rolling straight through from semi to final because he just doesn't stop. Doesn't stop. That's six frames on the bounce. He's flying towards another title. His fifth. Yeah, and it's a new challenge this time as well. You know, he's played, obviously, you feel like he's playing a lot of the same players again and again. Simon Fitzsimmons in two of his finals and he's played Liam Dunster a couple of times he's he's kind of getting used to beating the same people in this event but this is a new challenge and this isn't a challenge from someone who's in a bit of form this is John McAllister one of the best on the planet and um, and, he, and he's, he's found himself 3 it up chance though here Yeah, I feel harshly done by there because the whites um, got kicked enough. He needs this, John. He needs this. You go 4 0 down, nobody's beaten Jordan Shepard from 4 0 down. Nobody beats him from 3 0 down, do they? He needs this frame. Oh, 
He is going to go yellow, so he was just moving that red out of the way, so the yellow closest to the black goes into that corner pocket. This is just getting away from John as well. He wanted to be straight here so that he could just top the white through to the middle of the table. He had to play that with a run inside to create the angle he wants. And this is getting a bit more difficult for him. Should really have been a lot easier given that he had a, a free shot from the break. Press is a funny thing when you find yourself 3-0 down. All of a sudden, your confidence might not be what it was when you were bullying people in previous rounds. He's all right, I think he's just come far enough. Can't afford to miss this. And he hasn't. Very well played. That's what I like about Johnny. Just it, it doesn't ever panic when he's behind. Well, he's still behind, but he's pegged one back. <laughs> yes. Loves every song. <laughs> Loves seeing himself on the camera. A little kiss for the camera. No, she says, no. Not tonight. No, not tonight, love. It's not your birthday. Might be. Three, one. Midway point, so into the 15 second shot clock. Needs a big break. He's got nothing. Is he left or not? I think they're planting to the left middle pocket, I think, but his reds aren't going to be, his reds aren't easy. This is Jordan Shepard we're talking about. This game looks so much easier than it is. He is he is on fire. Well, I've not said a word this frame, and it's over. I don't know what to say anymore. There he goes. He's, he's won away on. again. He's having a sip from his pint. Go on, give him a kiss, love. Four-one, Shepherd. He's in the zone, isn't he? He just he doesn't the lose these events. He's lost, what, two of these all season? This will be his fifth event out of... Oh, no, there was a pilot event. Which so the, was, if we count the pilot... This will be five out of seven. If then he won the it. first two, yeah. missed a couple, won the last one, and this. Ridiculous.
<laughs> He's almost pointed everything off the break. I just, I just love the way he sees, he sees the finish so quickly. He's knocked the double in dead weight as if it was hanging over the pocket. Well, John's not getting another shot today. But this isn't easy. I mean, he's just making, you know, he's, he's, he's making a, he's making an incredibly tough game look so easy. Literally on a sixpence. You can't play Paul any better than this. You can't. Nobody can. Well, I think the wrong player here is nicknamed the machine. Punch the table. He really wanted this. Look at For that. the title. Bit of emotion. He's unstoppable. The defending champion defends his title. The Welsh wizard is wonderful to watch. And he's done it again. Unstoppable, unbeatable. And undeniable that he's the best around in this town shootout event. The Welsh wizard does it again. A comprehensive 5-1 win. He's the champion. And he'll get his trophy next. Take a bow, John Shepherd.
Well, welcome back for the final time to the Crucible Sports and Social Club here in Newbury where we spent another brilliant day and we have the news that the new champion is a very familiar champion indeed. He has done it again. He is unstoppable. He is Jordan Shepherd, ladies and gentlemen. What a phenomenal performance. Um, before we have a quick word with Jordan, we needed two to make the final. And on his debut at this time event, John McAllister has had a terrific run. So a round of applause for John as well. Jordan, the, the roll on from semi-final into final like Manchester just seems to suit you. You give him a chance, you go to 2-2, two -two, you rattle three off, have a quick break, come back and do it again. Jobs are good in. Um, I was lucky Lake in Bottle, to be fair. But um, <laughs> John, is, I knew I had to play well in the final. John had played, played really, really good all day. And I can't remember him seeing Mr. Ball, to be fair. And um, I knew I had to perform in the final, and I think I played really, really good. A little bit of um, like a release at the end, but just because you know you've got to play well to beat the guys, you know what I mean? He, he played really, really good, and um, yeah, I'm over the moon to win. You've only lost a couple of these, you are the dominant force, I keep saying it. I've no idea how, how anyone can beat you playing the way you are, and I can see how much it means to you. We saw in Manchester how much it, it meant to you there, but I know turning up and playing all day, every day here at these events, it means so much. Yeah, it's, it's a great event, obviously, like I know it. it um, probably suits me a lot more than what he does other people but um, you've still got to win and uh, luckily for me I keep like keep finding a way to win I don't I don't think I played that great today until the final I thought I played well in the quarters but the first round was probably like really not rubbish but it was like not great and then um, I seemed to like to, to um, play good when I needed to and I got like the, the odd run of the ball which would obviously help really in the first of five but um, yeah, I'm over the moon to win again. Um, it doesn't get boring at all. Really enjoy winning is like a massive addiction, so it's um, really nice, it feels good. Well, I can guarantee you watching you, it's not boring at all. Uh, he's done it again. Let's get our representatives out from Orange Media Group. <laughs> to deliver the trophy once again. He's done it once again. He is the town shootout champion for Newbury. It is Jordan Shepherd. And as Jordan, as Jordan takes his congratulations, let me say a few thank yous. Uh, a huge thank you to Orange Media Group. Without this, there would be no event. So to Kev, to Will and to Zach and for their tireless work, thank you. Our two referees today, ladies and gents, to Donna Evans and Rick Lloyd, to Sam Jones at Yorkshire Project Live, to all the TV crew out the back and backstage at 247 TV, to my co-commentator Dan Davey, who's been great fun again, and to Simon Webb, who popped in as well this evening. All the staff here at the Crucible have done a brilliant job. Thanks for being great hosts. And to all our remaining sponsors, Town Billiards, MyKeyRing.com, Johnny Carr, XLQs, English Blackball Pool Federation, It's OK to Talk, BlackballTables.com, SnookerFans.co.uk. Tonight's winner once again is Jordan Shepherd. I think you'll all agree once again that the real winner is Pool. And we roll on to Aberdeen next. We'll see you in Aberdeen for the Grand Final Series. December the 27th and 28th. And from me, George Riley, and from all the team here at the Crucible and from Orange Media Group, we will see you up in Aberdeen. And thank you and good night. <laughs>